these are the different types of EBS volumes that we have. So we have general purpose SSD. So there are two basically types. One is SSD and one is HDD. Okay. So SSD, we know that these are fast performance disks and these are a little bit slow and, you know, outdated now. Into SSD, we have uh, general purpose and provision diodes. So when we go with general purpose SSD, then it will be having the balance between the price and performance. But if we want the high throughput and we want the high IOPS, IOPS means input output operations per second. Okay. So SSD volumes are basically concerned about IOPS, giving the performance in terms of IOPS. Okay. And HDD are in giving, are concerned about giving the performance in the throughput. So IOPS is the number of read and write operation we do per second. And throughput is actual amount of data that is being read per second. Okay. So when we talk about general purpose, this balance is between price and performance. It is having this much of size, like it ranges from 1 GB to 16 TB. These are the maximum IOPS that we can get and the maximum throughput per volume. Now we have under the provisioned IO1, IO2. Apart from that, we have IO2 Block Express, which is the next generation of EBS volumes, which provides us with the highest IOPS of 2,56,000. So you can do 2,56,000 input-output processing per second. Okay, so these many re, like uh, input-output uh, requests can be taken by IO2 Block Express. But in IO1 and IO2, you get the highest performance SSD for uh, low latency and high throughput workloads. It also supports, you know, from 4 GB to 16 TB. So you can see the difference over here. In general purpose, we can start from 1 GB of size. This starts minimum from 4 GB. And this starts from 4 GB and goes up to 64 TB. 64,000 is the IOPS that we get. And this is the throughput that we get per volume. Now, if we talk about HDD, then also here we have two options, throughput optimized HDD and cold HDD. So volume type is ST1 and SC1, right? And uh, this is basically designed for throughput intensive workloads. And this is the lowest cost uh, EBS volume, which is being available, right? It is used for least frequently accessed workloads. So the size of this uh, ST1 starts from 125 GB and it goes up to 16 TB. IOPS you can see here is drastically reduced because I'm saying that this HDD is more about throughput intensive workloads rather than IOPS. So it is more focused upon throughput. So you can see we get the 500 Mbps per like 500 Mbps throughput. And here with the uh, SC1, we get 250 Mbps, right? The IOPS is also reducing over here. 